Let's work on recreating a title animation in After Effects using this sample of title animations that we see on YouTube. We're going to work on this first one where this rectangle comes in, slides over, kind of compresses with some text, reveals the text, the text shifts, and then the rectangle goes back out. So to get started with that, let's go to After Effects. I have an example here I'll open up so you can see. We're going to do it with Lexington Minutemen. Purple rectangle slides in. I'm going to go back to the beginning. Purple rectangle slides in, compresses, reveals Lexington Minutemen. It shifts, and then it slides back out. To get started with this, we'll go to a new project and create a new comp composition with the default settings. We'll get each of our three elements on the page first, starting with the Minutemen. Well, let's do Lexington. And then we'll type in Minutemen. I have this set to being all caps, so it will do that for me. Get your font size is set here. Maybe scale this up some. And we can make it bold. So get your font size set the way that you want, kind of get, get started stacking this up, and then we're going to create the rectangle. So our rectangle doesn't show up within that layer. We're going to say uh, right-click next to our timeline and say new shape layer. Let's create a rectangle, get that kind of size the way that we want. We're going to set the anchor point of that rectangle over on the left-hand side so that when we compress it, it will compress in the right place. So we kind of want it to finish right here. That's fine. So we have our elements set. Let's start. Let me see. You want this maybe a little bit bigger so that Lexington will fit underneath it. And we want it to end up there. That's fine. So let's start transforming. Let's expand our shape layer. Click on transform. We're going to start with this over on the left. Or excuse me on the right hand side and then animate into the left and we're going to be animating position so I'll click on a stopwatch to get us started and then I'm going to slide this in I can hold uh, I can click and drag with my mouse to move it faster I want to make sure that it doesn't slide up and down hold on my shift key as I bring that in now let's go back excuse me, hit plus on my keyboard to zoom in, go to one second. Let's make sure, I click on my pan behind, let's make sure that my, yeah, let's make sure that my anchor point, let's come back into here, let's make sure my anchor point is set on here. All right, now let's go. Let's go out to one second, and now let's start moving that in. Now hold down my shift key. There we go. Let's see if I can drag on this. Oh, need my arrow pointer. Drag on this, hold down my shift key, and set it there. So it's going to slide in. To make that slide go faster, I can hold down my shift key, click on both keyframes, right click, go to keyframe assistant, and say easy ease. So you have ease in, ease out, and easy ease. Easy ease will ease on both sides. Now I want this to compress down, and to do that I'm going to animate scale. So out here at about one second, I want to animate scale. Because I only want to scale one part of it, I'm going to unclick on this link, click a new keyframe, and I will scale this down. Oh, well, that's the wrong one, so we'll use the other one. Here we go, we'll scale just the width down. And get that set to there. Let's undo. We need to go out. Let's get two seconds. And then make that change. All right, here we go. And select both of those with my shift key. And put an easy ease on there as well. So the last thing is, this Lexington, we want it to kind of rise up from nowhere. We compress this back down and go to Lexington. 
and I will hit, after I've selected the Lexington layer, Control shift n create a mask on that layer. From there, if I expand it, I want to go to this Animate button, and that will allow me to animate the position within that mask. So I'll come up here and choose Position. I'm going to click on my stopwatch to create... Well, let me get this slip. Let me decide this first. Yeah, see, I can slide that. So let's slide that off. Click on the stopwatch. And we'll go out to three seconds. And we'll bring that back in there. And all of these animations can have that easy ease applied to it. Let's see what we got so far. Looks good. The only thing is, I don't need the Minutemen to be there right off the bat. So I know I need the right, right there I can bring it my Minutemen. So I'm going to take that layer for Minutemen and just slide it over. Let me go to the end by pressing minus. And let me make this just smaller before I slide it so I can see I have. There we go. So what does this look like? Comes in, compresses, rises up. 